Right, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to use the deep learning tool as a regression um, learning model to um, replicate a, a traditional image processing, image filtering. So let me start screen sharing here. So um, we we can just use the same data as before. Let's just de delete all these other objects that we don't need. So we're, we've got again this denim data set. As you see, it's a little bit noisy. So let's go to workflows image filtering. So we're going to use uh, the image filtering toolbox um, and the median filter. So if you type, start typing on this drop down box, if you type median, it comes up automatically. There's a whole range of filters that you can play around with. And you can also read up about them in the documentation, um, in the Dragonfly documentation. There's uh, very useful features there, very useful filters. We're just going to use the median filter here. And if you want to see what that looks like, if you want to zoom in a bit, that's what the median filter does right, with a, a kernel size of three or five like this. Let's take five. Maybe you would like to do, um, we'd like to see something clearly happening to the data. So now we apply that to all slices. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to take an input image of denim um, input. Let's just close the image processing context here. So to get back to the original workspace. Um, so we've got these two image channels, the original data and the filtered data. So we're going to create, train a, a deep learning model as if it's a, a denoising filter to replicate a median filter. So we click on the original data, we go to deep learning tool. And now at the moment, we want to create a new model. I can call it, it's a unit model, yes. It's not a seg semantics uh, segmentation. We want to make a regression model with the input count of one, and we can make it a two and a half D, and we can call this a median filter, and we can generate that. Okay, so um, now we've generated that. It's in our list of models. It's not trained yet. So let's go to training. Quite easy. We need the denim input, the denim median filtered image channel output, and a mask. Um, I didn't actually realize you need a mask, but it's quite easy to add one. So let's go to this slice here, and we, we go to segmentation. We need to create a new ROI. Let's call it mask. And we go to, sing, to a slice. Um, brush full, make the brush bigger by scrolling while the control button is pushed down. You can make it really big and just paint the whole thing at once. I like to do that. And then we have a mask. So we, we using one slice as a mask. There we go. And we can increase the augmentation. We can um, yeah, just put it in the middle there. And what we can do is we also would like to see a preview frame. So let's go to the main context and select a little annotation rectangle. So let's see how that, um, we, so that we can monitor how the training progresses. So on the visual feedback frame, this is region 17. And now we can click on train. So now we're giving the a unit model, a input image and asking it to provide an output image as as we um, you, with as if it's a median filter. So this is a dem demonstration of how to do image to image regression and to like if you had for example a need for a particular kind of filter and you've got some data before and after of that kind of filter applied you could include that filter into dragonfly indirectly using a deep learning model. And it's actually seems to be reaching uh, low already, improving quite a lot, quite fast, or reaching a, a steady state quite fast.
and it's even done an early stopping. So um, after it's done a, a stopping, you can actually go back to all of these slices. This is a good time to demonstrate that so that you can see the progression of the training. You can also export the movie here. So you can save a 15 second video of this training progression might be useful for a, a video uh, for a presentation in a conference or so. And we can also close it. So we need to save this model and we can close it. So now let's go back to the original data and we can go to um, not segmentation tab. We want to now apply this, um, where is it? Filter with AI. So we can select a model, the unit median filter, and we can just preview it on one of these slices. Let's have a look here if it's improving the noise level a little bit. Right, so that's the unit median filtered preview and the actual median filtered data is over here. So we can toggle between them. They do seem slightly different in terms of brightness. We can actually check using a, a ruler annotation. If we make a ruler annotation here across this noise, it's taken across one fiber as well. Um, we can do an intensity profile. So we can see what the original data looked like, the median filtered data, not the input or inference, but the actual um, filtered preview slice that we did. So ooh, this is not right. Okay, so we've got a, where is it now? This, I guess we need to apply this first to the entire data set. So let's, let's just, um, let's delete this preview. Let's click on the original, go back to filter with AI, apply it to all slices. It might take some time. Um, the reason that is the, the ruler is probably taking not only pixels in 2D here, it's probably taking more values around it, which is why that uh, profile didn't work so well there. I guess this is um, taking a bit of a long time to demonstrate, but that's, that's the way to, once you've done that, you can then again click on the ruler and click on the ruler intensity profile and then compare the, the intensity versus distance over of the original median filter data and the unit median filter, which should be pretty similar. Okay, I'm not gonna do all of that. Um, I've basically demonstrated in the short video how to do a, a image to image regression using deep learning. Okay, thanks.